Hi, Catherine here with Austin Aqua Yoga. Today I want to show you a sequence for relaxation. Um, you're going to need to be in a, a pool where you can hold on pretty good to the edge of the pool. Um, maybe you have a pool like this, maybe you hold on to the ladder or there's some bars on the pool, that would be ideal. Um, to begin, we're going to start in water dog. So come on over, place your hands on the edge of the pool. Feet will be under hips as you sink your chest and chin into the water. Gaze at the pool floor. You have the heels of your feet, the balls of the feet, pressing into the floor. You're using your legs as you extend your hips away from the wall. So if your heart is melting down into the water, Hopefully you're noticing a nice stretch in the spine. Your your spine is in extension here with the hands on the wall. And then let's walk our feet up the pool wall. Until you're in a forward fold, you're holding on to the edge of the pool. Again, this is where you need to make sure you have a nice grip uh, on something. And you want to make sure that your hands are wide, uh, about shoulder width distance apart, I would say. Maybe a little bit wider. So just breathing into the backs of the legs, deep in your breath. Maybe you can even notice your body rise and fall with the breath. And then bend your knees just a little bit, a little micro bend. On an inhale, bend your elbows and spinal extension just like we were in water dog. So a broad chest, bending elbows. And then when the exhale arrives, you're going to bend your knees, round your back. Bring your knees to the wall between your arms. And so now you're kneeling, rounded back. And then the inhale, back bend in this kneeling position. Gaze at the sky. Maybe the back of the head kind of gets close to the waterline. On the exhale, back to the forward fold. Float your hips back, gazing at the knees. Inhale, bending the elbows, spinal extension. This is like Ardha Uttanasana if you're a land yogi. And then exhale, bending the knees, round the back, knees to the wall. Inhale, stay kneeling on the wall, come into a back bend. Broad chest. Exhale, forward fold. Float those hips back. It's okay if the heels don't make it to the wall when you're in the forward fold. On the inhale, slight bend of the knees. That's going to free up the spine for Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, rounding the back, knees to the wall. Inhale, broad chest, looking up. Exhale, folding forward. Good, and you can just keep flowing like this as long as you like. I'm gonna add one or two extra things here. So on the next exhale, you're gonna float the hips back. Land your left foot to the floor. The left knee will be bent. You're gonna be low in the water. Again, this water, you, most, pretty much all the sequences that I offer, you gotta have chest depth water here. So you're staying low in the water. And then your right hand is gonna to come to your right hip. You're gonna keep pressing right foot into the wall. That leg is straightening. And then rotate your heart and head to the right. Gently push down on your right hip to help lengthen the right side of the trunk if the right side is shortened. And then hopefully you're feeling a little bit more of a stretch in the outer hamstring, uh, some kind of the IT band area. Often people request IT band area stretches. This is a nice one. Try to keep your chest broad and lengthen the base of your skull and your heart towards the sky. And perhaps maybe you wanna, on the last round of breath, you can even float that right arm back behind you. Good, and then come on back through center. Let's just do one round of prostration. Uh, that was uh, what we just did. So on an inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, knees to the wall, rounding. Inhale, stay kneeling. Gaze up, broad chest. And then exhale, float the hips back into that forward fold.
and then right foot to the floor, left hand to left hip, lift your spine, uh, your heart and your skull skyward on the inhale, and then the exhale you'll rotate head and heart to the left. And I'm really pressing my left foot into the wall, so we're staying active in that left leg, maybe gently pushing down on that left hip. Uh, often the left hip will kind of float up towards the ear as you uh, turn into this rotation and then maybe the round, last round of breath you'd like to extend that left arm towards the center of the pool. Good and then we'll come on back through center. Let's do one more round of prostration. Both feet to the floor, uh, wall rather. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, round the back, gazing down. Inhale, stay kneeling, broad chest, gazing up. And then exhale, floating the hips back, you're in that forward fold. Good, and then walk the feet to the floor and come on up to stand. Uh, so I hope that brought a little bit more peace into your day. Thanks for checking this out. If you need more resources or you're looking to learn how to teach aqua yoga, please check out uh, austinaquayoga.com, uh, my link below. I hope you have a wonderful day.